Hi, I'm Lisa Van Gammert from giftedguru.com, and I'm here to share with you how to use the homework plan um, and checklist that I've created for you. And so this video is going to lead you through so that when you are helping your child work with it, you'll know exactly how to do it. So stick with me, and I'll help solve your homework problems. That's quite a big promise, isn't it? I'll help solve your homework problems? <laughs> uh, but, I, but I think I really can. So the homework checklist and plan is available for download for free at giftedguru.com. And I just want to go through it with you to share exactly how it works. So this is something that you would print out and you would have a different one for every day. And it's designed to help kids break down their tasks, plan their tasks, and support them in their executive functioning so that they really can't make a mistake. It's almost like bowling with bumpers. So. Everything you see here, for instance, the first thing is unpack your backpack. And it has all of these subtasks under it. So what a kid will do is they'll come home from school, and once they've had a snack and been able to run around and play for a while, when it's time to sit down and do homework, this is what they do, step by step. Take everything out of your backpack, right, that you need for your homework. And then when they've done it, they check it off. And it's best if they can actually say the word done or I did it because that gives them a little shot of dopamine in their brain and they feel good about their accomplishment. Remove any trash and throw away or recycle. Replace anything that's worn out or empty. So if they need like to sharpen pencils or if they're out of pens or if their glue ran out, whatever it is that needs to be replaced, do that. Um, next is that if there's anything that the parents are supposed to see or sign, they give that to them. So sometimes maybe there's something that the teacher sent home, there's a permission slip, there's some teachers have folders that uh, parents are supposed to sign every day. Anything that is supposed to be uh, handled by a parent, get that done. Once all those four tasks are done, then the child checks off unpack backpack. That's done. That's what it means to unpack the backpack. The next step is the plan. The plan consists of two parts. First is the prep time and then making the plan. So what the prep time is, is where the child looks over what homework he or she has and writes it in this form. So what's the subject? So maybe math, language arts, science, social studies, Spanish, whatever the class is, goes in this column here. And then they write down what the assignment is. Right? So it's page 23, numbers 1 through 15. Uh, and then the child estimates how much time this will take. This is important because one of the things that causes families a lot of trouble is when a kid is sitting at a table for three hours struggling over two homework problems, and that just causes all kinds of problems. If a child can focus right at the beginning and say, mm, this really should take about this much time, then they create kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy with it. They have in their mind, that's how much time this is going to take. And it can help. It's not always going to, but it can. And then, do I need any materials to complete this assignment? So if I have to make a poster, then maybe I need poster board, or maybe I need glue, or maybe I need markers, or maybe I need a stapler, or whatever I need. Then I would write it here if it's something that I don't already have uh, at, on hand. So after the child fills in what they know they com have come home with, I have a couple of other questions for them to think about. Do they have anything that they've planned ahead to do for projects or assignments? So sometimes uh, they'll have something that is maybe a two-week project or something like that where they didn't uh, need to do it the very day it was assigned, but they planned out to do it. So maybe today I need to read 15 pages of Huckleberry Finn, or I need to watch this video, or I need to get something that I need for this group project that we're doing. Right. So. Um, if they have anything that they planned ahead to do, then they need to list that here. And then, did they have anything that they need to plan ahead for? And so if they got something assigned today that needs to be planned ahead for a project or a long-term assignment, then they would actually list that as an assignment to plan ahead for this. And then that planning would be done just on whatever calendar system you need. Just a regular calendar is fine. You can get one at the dollar store where they would write down counting backwards, right? So I have to read this book in two weeks. It has 100 pages. I'll read 50 pages a week. 50 pages a week is about 
seven to eight pages a day, depending. And so then every day it would say, read seven pages. And so then that would be added. They look at that calendar. If the child is old enough to have those kinds of assignments, they would look at that calendar and see, okay, yes. And they would list that as an assignment as well. Then once they have all their assignments, then they make the plan for how they're going to do the assignments. So they put in the times, right? So from 3.45 to 4.15, I'm going to do number six. And I'm going to do either all of it or part of it. And they circle how much they're going to do. Because here's the thing. If up here they list, let's say number one was an assignment that is really big. The kid is 10 years old and they estimate the assignment's going to take an hour. Then I don't expect them to sit for an hour and do that assignment. What I'm going to say is, you know, from 4 to 4.20, I'm going to work on number one, part of it, right? And then later on down in the plan, they would add in from, you know, after dinner, from, you know, from 6.30 until 6.50, I'm going to work on number one, part of it, right? I'm going to finish it up then. In addition to, uh, so here, they're going to just be scheduling out the numbers, but that are up here in, in the um, list of assignments. But what I also want to make sure you understand is that these times don't have to be consecutive, right? Because the child should be stopping for breaks. The child uh, may be needing to go to piano practice or a piano lesson or soccer practice or the family's going to eat dinner or they're going to just take a break for playtime or a bio break where they're going to get a snack again or something like that, right? We're not going to have kids just work, 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 work. So the times here, this one might say 3.45 to 4.15, and then the next one might say 5 until 5.30. Now, you put the times in to have a schedule, but it's flexible, right? If they get going on something and they're excited, they're in a groove, they don't have to stop because it is that time. But it is permission to stop when that time is over, and it also gives them a little sense of urgency to get it done, right? Oh, I'm almost out of time. I use the same technique exactly myself. So then once they've made their plan um, and they've done the plan, they've completed all these assignments, then they check that box off and say, done. Then the next piece is that they reflect. And this also, just like unpacking the backpack, consists of four things. First, they ask themselves, have I completed everything that I need to do? And if the answer is no, then they need to come to the parent and say, I didn't get everything done so that the parent can help them figure out how are we going to carve out time. Next, they evaluate the little self-reflection. On a scale of one to five, the quality of my effort today was A, and they give themselves a grade. How hard did I work today? How efficiently did I work? How well did I stick to the plan? Was I good at estimating how long stuff would take? Um, did I do a good job with all of the planning? You know, how did I do today? And then on a scale of one to five, the quality of my attitude. So if I did it all right, but I was whining and screaming and complaining and throwing fits and, you know, people were begging and bribing me, then I get a one even if I got all my work done. Because this is really a two-part thing, right? We want to have kids get their tasks completed, but we also want them to have a good attitude about it. Nobody ever develops success in life by having a bad attitude about stuff that needed to be done. It's just not helpful. The two tasks remain. Repack the backpack, but put everything back in the backpack, check it off when it's done, and then place the backpack in a loading zone. The loading zone will be different for different families. It could be by the back door. It could be back in the car. Um, it could be at the doorway to the room. It could be at the front door wherever it is that they're going to see and grab it on their way to school, wherever it needs to be so that it's ready to go to school the next day. So that's the homework checklist and plan. And as students work with this, eventually they will grow out of the need for it. But one of the other things that it's helpful for is not just day to day, but also to keep these. So once a child's completed them, just scratch the date in the on it and then just put in there uh, what day it was. And if you keep these, then when a child feels discouraged or when a child is trying to make a plan and figure out how much time do I think this is going to take, they can look back at old ones and say, okay, well, I had 14 problems that day and it, and it took about half an hour and I think I have about the same amount of work this time. So they can use their own plans to help them with future planning. 
I also think these are a good thing to keep on hand because it shows kids their progress. It shows kids what did you, what were you learning before, and what are you learning now? And it, they see, oh wow, you know what? I really learned a lot. That was so easy. You know, I did it before, and it was so easy. So that's how you use the homework plan and the and the checklist, homework checklist and plan. I hope it's helpful to you. Best wishes.